Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So we got quite a bit of the new building built. Uh, we got the roof on these sections. We're on day 9 autumn, so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to finish this all up today before winter, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, we need to get a wall thing set up on this side, like a small attic space. And <clears throat> uh, we're going to need to um, do some additional work and stuff like that. But I still need to figure out the roofs on this part because that's going to be a little bit more challenging. Because it's um, just the way that it's angled. I had to put these center pieces in because um, the roofs wouldn't go fully over with the regular one so I needed the slanted roofs instead so that's basically what I did there and I needed a additional thing so I just kind of extended that as storage rooms I can store things up there like furniture and stuff I don't know what we'll do with it but we'll <laughs> we'll find a purpose it's separate from the bedroom so so and um, down below uh, let's see here how is that going so we got most of the chairs moved over um, I think there is still some chairs and stuff that we need to move over here, but, uh, we'll wait until we get a, another dining table in. Oh, we have one set up already. Okay, perfect. So we can move that stuff over. We'll probably be moving the banners next. Yeah, they're moving the banners. So get them to move these as well. And bring that up here. Space all are already occupied. Did I misclick? Maybe I misclicked. Let's try that again. There we go. Alright. Must have just clicked in the wall area, possibly. Okay, so that's one. So we need to move all six chairs up here. And then we can start working on uh, getting some stuff built um what are they working on yeah they still have to work on that other fireplace that requires 20 wood but we should have enough wood because they've been chopping all this stuff down get them to uh our dogs to haul those saplings yeah we'll get that moved in quickly and then they won't take as much damage being on the ground there Wood I'm not too worried about. They can usually last a couple years. The sticks, well, stick.
Alright, so I haven't done much work on the upper floor just yet. I might just leave it for winter or, you know, during the... We'll work on it during the winter or something like that. Uh, snow will eventually melt while there's torches and stuff in the uh, thing, so I'm not too worried about that. But um, I wanted to get the Great Hall actually functional. <laughs> Turns out it wasn't a great haul just yet because we didn't have that extra torch. Now you can see that it said great haul, so uh, that's all set up now. That's good. Uh, we'll set this to high, and that should be high as well. Uh, we'll just adjust the uh, torches. So it requires at least four torches, and uh, the um, candles don't actually count, unfortunately, but that's fine. We don't really need too many torches, I don't think. Just enough to kind of light it up in those areas. We have each corner pretty much lit up, so that's good. Um, now, I was looking at the temperature in here, and it's not exactly perfect. So what I think I'm going to do is maybe put a brazier right on this, this section right here where she's standing. That might help with that warming, warming this area up. Uh, I'm not sure what we can make it out of. If it's, if we can get gold, that would be great. Uh, let's see here. Where would that be under brazier? Brazier got gold. That would cost ten gold for a gold one. Uh, a stellar value is twenty-five. Yeah, so we could do something like that, maybe. And that should help a lot with the temperature in this area, I think. We'll see. I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. That gets pretty good reach over here, so I think it will work. If not, then we can try moving it uh, behind here, I guess, or something. I'm not sure. The torches do seem to warm this area up, so... Just trying to keep it warm as possible. But as you can see, it's starting to cool off outside, so... Or winter's just around the corner. Uh, I'm not sure if we have enough gold though, so that's the only thing that I'm a little bit worried about. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we have plenty of gold actually. Yeah, we should be able to afford that, no problem. Dog's been doing good with transporting all the uh, resources as well. So we've got them to move those in. And uh, one of the things that I should probably start getting people to do is um, focus on refueling and stuff. Like, I know that. We don't have many people doing that, and like looking at the thing here, a lot of people are like construction or something like that, so it's like we don't have many people actually refueling. And I also put down all the other chairs.
Alright, so they just finished the last part of the uh, dining room with putting all the chairs in. So we got the brazier and it does look like it's going to do most of it. I don't think it will get all the way up here, but 8, eight Celsius is a little bit cold, but it's not too bad. Like, it, it will work. Um, it's not like exactly. We'll keep an eye on it until winter. Um, we'll see how it holds out for there we might put a brazier in here actually this is like three celsius that's pretty cold in this area we might do that but we will need more gold i think so uh when we go trading this um winter what we'll do is we'll pick up some extra gold from the factions and then we'll uh, have some extra stockpile if even if it's gold ore we'll be able to utilize it so um, but yeah, it looks good and they're already starting on the upper floor. So uh, if we turn that off, we can see what they're doing. Uh, there's going to be an attic space up along here, which will go along the line here. It's going to be about as tall as the church is actually. So that'll be good, I guess. I, I was trying to keep everything below this level, but <laughs> with the additional, um, what do you call it? The, uh, extra room for the living quarters it was it's probably going to be a little bit too high so that's all right it's not over the church so it just basically means that it's like uh, another important building which it is it's food's pretty important and as you look here it's i mean look at how much detail is in this just this one room and we get down to the kitchen and it's pretty empty but <laughs> we'll work on that in the future there's uh, some guest here from the church of the third coming so i haven't really done anything with them i'm trying to avoid doing much with them because a lot of our factions that we're partnering up with are against them so i'm basically just letting them do their own thing they can they can come here and offer up things but i'm not gonna really do anything with them <laughs> just to keep our rep with the other factions but uh yeah so the kitchen part Got the stoves here. I want to maybe get some additional storage. We'll use this for storage over in here. Not entirely sure just yet what I want to do with that, but um, like we might put herbs, herbs or something in there. I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll have to play around with it a little bit, figure out what works best for us. But um, yeah, it's just it, it, it's gonna take some time to actually work on like figure out what we need for decorations and stuff We might uh, put some just rent regular tables in just to kind of decorate it a little bit more Like countertop areas for prepping food and stuff, but Alright guys, so we got a lot done today. Uh, they're just working on getting the roof set up for the um, part up here and 
Then we have a little bit of stuff to build on this part until we get to the window here. And then what I have to do is I have to manually build a few of them over on this side. And then we can finally go ahead and fill the rest in um, through basically building and stuff like that. We'll see if we can't get that all done tomorrow or next episode. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with what we got done. We got the roof on the second floor. We were just... Um, we should actually set one of these guys to our uh, cooks. Uh, I know that we have a cook somewhere around here. I can't remember which one, but I'll sign the cook that bed. And then we'll have um, a couple other cooks when the beds are ready uh, to build and stuff like that. And then we'll be good for that part. Uh, another thing that we got is the Great Hall built. As you can see, we have a lot of chairs and dining city sitting areas now. So... There won't be any shortage of seats now that we have um, a really good uh, great hall. If we go to the show overlay, you can see that it says luxurious, which I've never actually seen for a uh, room type before. So it's like pretty high up. I've seen good and uh, modest, um, but that's about it for room types. I think our church is not even... Uh, superior yeah that I thought that was the highest it went but apparently luxurious is way higher than that so anyhow if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and uh, if you want to stay notified for community polls I have a discord server you can join there uh, link is in the description and um, I'll be posting polls on the community tab as well as the Discord server and then tallying up the points uh, by percent. So if you're interested in that and choosing what game I play next, uh, definitely consider doing that in the future uh, because I will be posting there from now on on both 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 places. So if you want to stay notified, Discord's the best place to have that because I can mention people for for the um, game polls and stuff. But outside of that, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.